This could be a big help for small towns. House Bill 4479 is heading to the governor's desk. Delegate Mark Dean, Republican from Mingo County, explains that establishing the Coalfield Communities Grant Facilitation Commission using a portion of the state's allotment of the federal infrastructure bill addresses one of small town government's biggest needs, grant writing, then finding matching grant funds. This commission is going to facilitate those matching funds. Also, they're going to provide a lot of technical assistance for people who are applying for grants. Delegate Ed Evans, Democrat from McDowell County, says for these coal field communities, trained grant writers are hard to come by. But it's generally the mayor and maybe a, uh, one or two people that work there in this city hall that wind up writing these grants. So now we've got professionals that will be able to add that technical assistance. Under House Bill 4479, the coal field funds are earmarked for promoting recreation and history, retraining coal miners, improving telecommunications, and most importantly, infrastructure. We've got people coming in all over West Virginia, especially southern West Virginia, for the trail riding. Uh, it's become one of the, a great industry for West Virginia. Well, the first thing they see is these torn down or falling down or burned down buildings that just need to be abated. Dean explains the funding mechanism, which is to be allocated at the governor's discretion. The funding is going to be starting in July. The next round of infra infrastructure money that comes down from the federal government, is going, a lot of it is going to be put in this fund. How much money? Delegate Evans is hoping for $250 million to start. For West Virginia Public Broadcasting, I'm Randy Yowie. Support for the legislature today is provided by Marshall University and SEGRA. For comprehensive coverage of the week's activities from the Capitol, join us for the legislature today, every Friday evening at 6, with an encore broadcast at 8.30 on West Virginia Public Broadcasting.